I like these statues because they're just fat. They're just these chubby. They're they're chubby asylum demon clones. The grind for pure blade stone is real. That's true. But, um, actually, you do not need to trade it with Fluffy or whatever that that crow's called. Oh. You can buy it from Shiva. God, fuck you, Shiva. Who even talks to Shiva? For 10,000 souls. Shiva. God damn it, Shiva. Alright, well, I... As someone who has only joined the Forest Covenant so that I can kill the ninja... And get the claws. <laughs> and and get the claw. I, I can safely say that I did not know that. Uh, Shiva, Shiva is a merchant that uh, unlocks when you um, join the Cat Covenant. Uh, he sells yeah. a lot of really cool weapons. He's French Canadian for for some inexplicable reason. Ding. Did you get an email? Fuck it. About the stream going know. live. Huh. Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it took a while. A little bit. Yeah. So um. This is a poorly designed area. Yeah, like, this is very Friday night game development. The the development team designed Lost Isolith last, and then visually this area looks very cool. And the the game, like, the reason for its existence is also very cool. But it was designed at the last minute in the development cycle, so they didn't have a lot of time to flesh it out. Which is why a boss fight leads from a bonfire to another boss fight with literally nothing in between. Yep. So, uh, you might have seen it when I was up at the bonfire before. But hey look, it's the Ceaseless Discharge's penis. It's not, that's not a joke actually. That's yeah. a thing that people, Some it's people a thing people think. legitimately believe that this centipede is the ca the ceaseless discharge's penis. Because they are idiots and they don't know what thinking is. <laughs> also, he gives you a ring, which has implications. Yeah, the... <laughs> Listen, the, the ceaseless discharge needs a little help when he's ceaselessly discharging. Huh. So this fight is actually an interesting gimmick, I, I guess, because you can you can cut off pretty much every every all of these arms sticking out of this thing. You can cut them off, and they become like a, a separate enemy. But if you cut off this one, the one that he's throwing at me right now, uh, you get the ring that you get for winning the fight. So like, all you have to do is cut the arm off, and then you can go out on the lava. Spoilers: that's what the ring does. I believe the law behind that actually is that this is, um, that the ring was something that the uh, Witches of Isolith made so that the Ceaseless Discharge wouldn't be in so much pain. Well, I'm gonna read the, I'm gonna read the description for the ring when I get it. I'm not sure if it says that in the description itself, though. Wait, where does it say that then? Nowhere? Is that just something that someone made up? Oh no, I'm getting I eaten! Don't, I don't know, like a lot of the lore of Dark Souls is purely speculative. You probably shouldn't just say shit then about like. I've like, been saying shit shit. this entire stream. That's what you brought me here for. I I'm just I'm just saying that it's probably better to say things people know are true already instead of things that like aren't confirmed anywhere. Hey, look! I got the orange charred ring. Hooray! I did it. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna put that on my dick so that I can go walk on the lava. Yeah, I'm doing it in the middle of the fight. Whatever. <laughs> You're not my dad. I'm not. So yeah, um, now that I have the orange charred ring, I can go out on the lava here, and this fight becomes infinitely easier. Also, you can cut off his tail, and it becomes another centipede. Because it's a centipede, and that's what happens when you kill a centipede. So the ring doesn't make you immune to lava, it just makes you take, like, a lot less damage from it. You do still take damage, but it's only, like, one or two. 
Yeah, like, look, you can see my health is still going down pretty fast. And he's dead. Hooray! Right. Centipede Demon. I have finally killed the last remnant of the Ceaseless Discharge and his giant dick. Seriously? <laughs> what a giant dick. So, let's see. An, an orange ring enchanted by a witch. Oh yeah, oh no, well, okay. An orange ring enchanted by a witch reduces lava damage. Since his sores were inflamed by lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him this special ring. But, fool that he is, he readily dropped it, and from that spot, a terrible centipede demon was born. Well, there you go, so you were kind of right. Good work. See, I was correct. You, d mostly. You were mostly correct. You were technically correct. Which, the as best we all kind know, of correct. yes, is the best kind of correct. <laughs> It's true. The The bosses are very visually unique in this game, except for, like, the three that are, like, copy-paste of each other. Mm-hmm. So, this oh, area stumped me. Oh, and the bed of me. chaos. Hey, what about the bed of chaos? Oh, no, it's actually visually really, really cool. It's just not a fun fight. No. So, this area completely stumped me when I first played the game. I was very confused, because I, I killed the centipede demon, I put on the ring, and I was like... But wait, the store is blocked off. Where do I go? I can't... I can't go anywhere. So I, like, ran around the edges of the arena, and I couldn't figure out where to go. I'm supposed to go over here. But I'm going to show you the perspective I was looking at it from. Because when you're standing over here near the entrance... Look at... Can you even tell that there's a crevice there? Like, the, the glow from the lava is blocking the fact that there's a solid path over there. Yeah. Damn it. So, I wonder what Solaire's up to. It's been a while since we've seen him. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? Solaire. Hey, buddy. Hope you're, hope you're keeping up your spirits in, uh, in these trying times. Wow. May I offer you an egg in these trying Ooh, times? Still cannot find it. Bummer. Why? After all. That's all he's got to say, huh? Sucks, he man. Still can't find his son. He still can't find his son. If only he would just acknowledge that he's the firstborn and taste the power of the sun. Contains I'm juice. going to. I'm not even going to threaten you. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's fine. That's my threat. My threat is to not threaten you. Wow. So, um... Now we are inside the dome. Well, sort of. We're getting there. We're not inside the dome yet, but we're about to be. Time and you might notice... Those. You might notice that this area is completely stuffed... With the dragon asses. And surprisingly enough, much like with the Taurus demon, there is a lore reason why there are dragon asses here. Apparently, according to the lore of this game, the reason there are dragon asses in Lost Isolith is because after being killed in like the big old war that happened before humanity really started taking off between the giants and the dragons. This is where the dragon corpses were disposed of. But then the but then the thing with the, the chaos magic happened, and they all came back to life as dragon butts. Yep. So I'm going to do my best not to aggro any of these. This is a sneaking mission. Well, because the these dragon butts... You see. Thank you. These dragon butts are extremely powerful. Like, for how many there are, they are very tough customers. So we are, I'm going to do my best not to aggro any of them. Isn't there a secret path around here that not a lot of people notice? Maybe. I don't know. In one of those square there's... buildings, there's a, um, one of the archways you can roll through it and there's a bonfire there. Oh, you mean this bonfire? Yes. That's not really... 
I didn't know that's what you were talking about. I expected there to be like an actual, like a path to a place. No, but yeah, no. There, there's just a lot of people don't realize that that bonfire is here. Patchouli, you, you, you look like you're a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, Patchouli doesn't look quite right. Yeah, yes, there, there's Battle a bonfire. Cattle. There is a bonfire here. Enjoy. Yeah. It, it makes the run back to the bed of chaos when you inevitably die to it uh, a lot easier. Battle Cattle, are you okay? <laughs> oh, poor Battle Cattle. We hardly knew you. So, I'm carrying around 118,000 souls here. But yep. I'm carrying them around for a reason. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back to Firelink and upgrade my Pyromancy Flame with our, our good buddy Laurentius. Ouch. Ouch. Fuck you. Fuck you, Fire Statue. I'm gonna go back to the bonfire uh, after uh, doing a shortcut. Because this is the way. It's true, they are good. They are the lifeblood of a well designed video game area. Mm-hmm. And this game has a fetish for shortcuts. But, yeah. I'm coming up with a game plan. Here, here's the 15-second shot clock. <laughs> you died to the bed of chaos. I actually don't know if the shortcut opens from this direction. I'm trying to remember how to get to that door that you open with the 30 humanity from the other side. I'm pretty sure it's up this way. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Also, Lovecraft's Lovecraft the the Lovecraft blender. Oh yeah, the, get the, eaten? the demon I'm, washing I'm gonna machines. Get, I'm going to get eaten. I'm going to let this guy take me for a ride. Okay. Take me for a ride, my friend. Oh, well shit. He didn't do the attack I... He didn't do the attack I thought he would. Also your weapons. Yeah, he he broke all of my shit and killed me in one hit. Please don't rub it in. <laughs> he, he sprayed me with murder gas, that's right. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, I've got so much shit. I've got so much shit. Okay. I'm glad it highlights the... Whoops, that was reinforcement. That's not repairing. Ah! Oops. How, I want to know how, we, how you break a pyromancy flame. You just broke your hand. Oh, oh no. His murder gas broke my bones. It, it gave you brittle bones. That's all. Selnar is rubbing it in, and I will have you know, Selnar, that I don't appreciate it. <laughs> also, I'm taking this side a very slow. I'm only halfway done with the ball. You're... That's fine. What what alcohol content is the cider? Uh, 4.0. So it's like 500% alcohol? Sure. <laughs> that's how math works, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a math <laughs> wizard. I know this. Oh, I love how you say maths. Oh, is this going to be like the bear thing? Oh, say bear again! <laughs> Go fuck say yourself. The word, say the word bear. Bear. Yeah! I love the way you say the word bear. And maths. I just like it because, like, I, I have never heard anybody else say the word maths. Nobody. None. You've never met an Zero. English person before? <laughs> I have, but I haven't heard them say the word maths. Maths! Oh, that that's probably the way to the, the shortcut. Hey, look, there's a Daughter of Chaos here. Yep. Well, was. Hmm? I killed her. Yep. I am a monster. Yeah, also you walked right by Kirk. 
No, I didn't. Well, I mean, I did. I walked by where he spawns, but I'm not human because I died. Oh, yeah. G grab me, damn you. I want to go for a ride. No, not the murder gas. No, not the punchy fist. Yeah, there we go. Will it blend? That is the question. Tasty. Delicious. <laughs> I just wanted to show that off because it's like, it's, it's like really almost silly. impossible. It's almost impossible to get hit by that. Like the hitbox for it is so small. <laughs> yeah, pr pronounce those words that that were just said in the chat. Uh, vitamins, aluminium, eight garage, and advertisement. Oh, you didn't say advertisement. Well, no, because that's how stupid people say it. <laughs> yeah, it, it does blend. Yeah, patchouli, it does blend. Please don't actually blend patchouli into anything, by the way. It, it will not go well for you. No. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna go to Will It... I'm gonna go to the Will It Blend videos, and I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna put the yes, it blends on the screen after patchouli blends. Well, now that you've said it in a video, you have to do it. Unlike all those I other times that it. you did it in Dead Space and didn't do anything about it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I am perfect. I have a perfect track record when it comes to editing. By the way, this is what the inside of the dome looks like. It's all, like, lava. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, time to go and collect my souls. My collective soul. But yeah, the, the lady we met here is another Witch of Isolith, um, so I believe that makes... Um, one, two, three, four that we have met in this game. Technically five if you, encount, if you count her son as one of them, but he's not a witch, and he's murdered. a wizard. Well, but we did murder him. Well, yes. What about his penis? We murdered that too. We did. And his cock ring. We have that. <laughs> I'm wearing his cock ring right now. But I don't know how. have those parts. You don't know? Uh, have that's you ever true. seen it? I've never asked her. It's none of my business. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Speaking of Dead Space, favorite weapon and why? In Dead Space or in Dark Souls? Well, it's the plasma cutter. You gotta. The favorite weapon's gotta be the plasma cutter. I thought you were Although talking about like in Dark Souls there for a second. I got very confused. Yeah, I love the pla I love the plasma cutter. It's my favorite spell. Uh oh, I'm in a very poor location right now. How the fuck do I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember how to get to that door. It's a good thing we can get to it from the other side, then, huh? Well, yeah, but I want to get to it oh, from no, the Oh, no, I think side. it's past that worm thing. Worm thing? Yeah, the worm thing in the demon ruins. You know, the one that you worm refuse thing. to fight because it pukes at you? That, no, the way to the other side of the door Oh. from here. Battle Cattle says, I love using the plasma cutter to get through the Duke's archives. <laughs> It is, it is a very useful weapon. I, I am a fan of the contact beam. The contact beam is a very good weapon because it, it makes enemies go... It's not this way, is it? Oh, it is this way. Yeah, this, this is the way. Because we need to go this way. We do. Because if you, if you just come through the other way, then a thing doesn't happen. My knee still really want... hurts, by the way. Are you okay? Did you did you break your knee? What? No, I bruised it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would you like to tell the class how you how you did that? Before we started the stream, I was you know moving around and putting my microphone where it should be, and I hit my knee against the desk in a very loud and very painful way. It was very loud, and it sounded painful. Wow! 
Excuse me? One hit, huh? Well then. <laughs> I see. By the way, I should mention, uh, the, <laughs> despite, despite giving you incredibly good fire and poison resistance, the Chaos Pyromancer set has some of the least armor in the entire game. So <laughs> it's good that I'm wearing it against things that, that hurt you a lot. That was an ego boost. I have no ego. I'm fucking awesome at this game. But sometimes the game just likes to put me in my place. <laughs> I'm doing that thing with my phone where I just press the thing in the middle and it still insists on telling everybody I'm a big gay egg. You are a big gay egg. You are a big gay egg. You are a big gay egg. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm doing lines. Of cocaine? No, like, you know, when you were in school and you did something wrong and you had to, like, sit there and write something a hundred times. Oh, okay, yeah. I always cheated at those. Like, they always told you, oh, we'll know if you if you just r go down the line, like, writing I, 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 am, 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 a, 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 fuck. Like, like, if, if you just wrote, if you, if you cheated, they said they would know, but they, they don't. never did. They don't know. Yes, Battle Cattle, I am getting in some practice safeguarding my ego, thank you. So th this is, this Taurus Demon, uh, uh, I mean, this Titanite Demon, rather, he, he respawns if you kill him, which is good, because it allows you to farm for the Titanite Catch Pole, which is a very good weapon. In fact, for a very long time, it was one of the most overpowered weapons in the game, which is why everybody used it for PvP. Uh, but then it got nerfed along with a whole bunch of other shit. Oh, speaking of cool weapons that we got in another run, um, C. Jacobs, any other called you Chaos Argate, uh, managed to get the channel as Trident. Hell yeah. I think I have it here, too. No, we didn't get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I did get the channel as Trident, which is good, because now I can, now I can watch Friends at any time. Are you breaking up with me? Yes. <laughs> no, no, Joey, why? <laughs> hey, now I have another chance to get this fucking lizard. Or, well, now I have another chance to miss this lizard. Uh, ah! Fuck you! Yeah. I'm the best. You are the best. Girls and hey, look, it's our it's it's our buddy. Yeah. Hey, man, you're alive. You're not crazy and like trying to kill me because I'm wearing your hat. Do you like my son? So if you come here, uh, if you come here from this side without opening the shortcut and without killing the sunlight maggot, Solaire will still be here, uh, but he will be wearing the sunlight maggot on his head. And he will be trying to kill you, because he went crazy. I mean, Sola was already a little bit not a right in bit. the head. But now he's just now he's just sad. Have I done it all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do, my son? My dear, dear. Son. Yeah, the maggot eats brains. It's a, like a parasitic maggot that sits on top of your head and makes light. It, it's good that Patchouli is just straight up wearing this on her head, then. Yeah. So, okay, now I'm going to go back to the bonfire and spend those souls. Because talking to Solaire here makes him available for summoning for the final boss, which is good. Because you get to, you get to pal around with him. Yeah. Back to Firelink we go. We haven't, I was going to say we haven't been to back to Firelink in a while, but we haven't been back to Firelink since the beginning of this stream, so. <laughs> we haven't been back to Firelink in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Laurentius. I'm 
just gonna upgrade this. I think I just need plus 10. You don't need it to be plus 15, do you? No, it's just plus 10. Yeah, I think so. Alright, All right. see you later, Laurentius. Thanks for the help, man. You still have plenty of souls. Do we want to level up? Heck yeah, I do. I am going to need vitality <laughs> for when I fight uh, bosses later on. So... Not for the bed of chaos, though. Laurentius asked me where I got these sweet pyromancy. Should I tell him? Do you want him to live? If I mean, if you want to send him to his death, go ahead. Uh, um, if you right tell there. him where you got um, your rad pyromancies from, he goes hollow in the swamp because he's completed what what it is he wanted to do. He has nothing left to live for anymore. He found the best pyromancy in the world. Whereas well, if you don't show him it, then he doesn't go hollow and he continues to stay in file and being your bro. I mean, Or is just a big baby and he couldn't handle the swamp. <laughs> Blighttown does suck pretty bad. It does. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so this way... Yeah, this way. We're still not done going through this shortcut, actually. Because we, we have one more thing to do. Uh, the, the shortcut proves very useful. Mm -hmm. oh, not this way. Or no, yes, that way. Ah, oh, God, it's so dark. It's a good thing These you have souls the are Maddox. so dark. Maddot. Maddot. Sunlight it's a Maddox. Good, There's a reference good, for good you. Thing, good thing I have the sunlight, Madden. I think she is undead, isn't she? Nope. She's not? Nope. I don't think she is. Oh. Oh, okay. She doesn't, actually. No, she doesn't. That, poor, that, poor that's her dad. Uh, the mushroom in Ulusil, or the lady in Ulusil, uh, those, um... That happens before <laughs> the, the undead curse happens. The mushroom so no. in Ulusil is a mushroom, so... I mean, it could be an undead mushroom. Mm. Uh, no. Um, PW. Wow! Get that far. Um. Um. I can't believe that just happened. I see. Joey. I can't believe you've done this. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> that was some bullshit. A little bit. I got titanated, thank you. But yeah, PW, if you get that far in uh, Siegmeier's quest, um, the one you fight in Ash Lake is in fact Siegmeier. No it's not, he's dead already. Okay. I may be misremembering. You are. <laughs> I am misremembering. Yeah. God, these stairs are such stairs. Why can't I stairs? <laughs> these stairs are I'm such going... stairs. I'm going hollow. <laughs> no, you went hollow during the Manus fight. I. Actually, no, you went hollow during Artorius because we just started talking about how many dicks he has. He's got so many. I think we decided on 30. Approximately. Somewhere around there. He's like made up of 85% penis. He's so much dick. Just so much. There's there's like 20 pounds of dick and ass. <laughs> Don't worry, Sigmar will... Uh, He'll respawn at the next bonfire. Of course, that that's provided that I can get get through the next part of his quest line, uh, which is the the hardest part, actually. Also, May but says not... thirty goddamn dicks. That's quite a few. But yeah, it's the hardest part, but not because it's difficult. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, 
It's not the hardest part because the fight itself is hard. It's because it's rude. We're just playing Toho. I mean, it's fine. What? Dodging the, what? the magic. What are you talking about? The Titanite Demon, he shoots the lightning down the hallway, you gotta dodge it. It's true, I did. I did have to do that. Oh hey, there's an item over there. Why don't I just step over here and go get it? Oh, the floor spontaneously exploded. And now the item's gone, what do you know? And hey look, who's that? Why don't I just put on the rusted iron ring? Because <laughs> I have a feeling he's about to jump into this pit of uh, goopy to try and fight these uh, blenders. So this is the hardest part of Siegmaier's quest? Yeah. Also, he's asleep again. God damn it. He sleeps more than I do. Hey, man. Yeah, that was your excuse last time. Wow, he fell asleep standing up. May is adamant that you use the bow. Nah. I don't have enough arrows. Perhaps the time has come for what? I don't know if that's a good idea. No, no, wait. No, Sigmeier. No, really, that's okay, man. No, Sigmeier. Oh, God, fuck. I love his battle cry. Oh, they broke my shit. God damn it. God, what a badass. <laughs> ah! You did 666 damage to that one. Hell yeah. Alright then. Thanks for the help, I guess. He tried. You did. Why, you. Didn't you get away? No, I was helping you. You saved me once again. Dear me, what can I say? I have failed you. <laughs> My dear little... Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no. Oh. Poor buddy. Ah well. Thanks for the stone plate ring. There are a number of things that can go wrong there. I saw Sigmeier's health bar, and yeah, his health bar was actually pretty low because he got, he got smacked. But yep. Yeah. In order to make sure he survives that fight, you have to not... You have to let him do more damage to the enemies than you do. But also, you still have to win the fight with him above 50% or so health, which is kind of annoying. It's hard to do. But oh well. Rest in peace, Sigmire. Rip, onion bro. Rip. No, it totally is the case. It's like 100% the case. Hey, there's a red titanite slab, though. But yeah, if Sigmire survives, uh, he, he uh, ends up at Ash Lake with Sigland and he is dead and rest in peace and she gives you a slab yep yeah and that's like the only other way to get like a guaranteed Titanite slab in the game like how the fuck do I get out of here maybe I should just homeward bone oh no do you not just stairs. go down nope cause those, those pits are bottomless oh <laughs> it's kind of a dick move actually 
Oh, there you go. If you preemptively kill four of the five Hoovers and damage the last one before talking to him, it counts as him surviving and winning. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I guess it only counts the enemies that are alive when he starts his attack. I, yep. I guess. Ah, uh, well, no, uh, fuck. That's, that's a pretty lame technicality. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna homeward bow now. I have finished my cider. Hooray! I'm very happy for you. It was delicious. Okay. So... Where would be the best place to warp to? Because you can't warp to anything... I guess the Daughter of Chaos. Yeah, sure. Sure! Oh. Oh, also I need to repair my shit again. You do. That's you right. have repair bogs, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Remember, that's how I repaired my stuff the last time. Oh, god, like, I asked you that last time as well. You, yes, you did, yeah. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking alcohol. <laughs> No, I'm just- I'm not drunk, I'm just stupid. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm just oh, really no, forgetful. No. no, sunlight maggot. There you go. Let's- let me see if I can reinforce my... stuff any. Oh yeah, the the tracer's already at plus five, isn't it? Yep. Let's see how my armor's doing. Ah, fuck it. Who needs it? Yeah, who needs armor? Yeah, I might as well just go in naked. And in the game, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> So it's time. I've been putting it off long enough. It's time to fight the bed of chaos. Joey. Yes. It's time to fight the bed of chaos. It is. No, you know what? Actually, it's not time to fight the bed of chaos. It, it's time to run down this hallway four or five times. I hope you're ready for that. <laughs> Welcome to the next half hour or so of your life. I'm sorry it had to be this way. I have a very pleasing number of souls right now. That is a very pleasing number of souls. Yeah. Also, there's also Some a lot of banging just... happening outside, and I can't decide if, like, if something blowing around in the wind or if someone's lighting a fireworks for some reason. Outside your house? Yeah. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to be really careful around this Titan Knight Demon. That seems like a good idea. Alright, well, fuck you then. Why don't you just go <laughs> defy gravity in hell, you piece of shit. Well, that was a close dodge. We're already in hell, though. That's true. We, we are already in hell. Uh, also in the game. Yep. No, don't oh. say we're in hell un until we, like, go fight Calamite. We're in hell in a cell. Ladders. Chainsaws. Fireballs. Explosions. Popcorn. By the way, okay, so in case you for some reason didn't believe me about this area being a product of short development time, check this out. There's just big giant holes in the world right there. On both sides. There's just big holes in the world. Cool. Good work. Yep. And like it's it's super obvious too, because you're gonna be looking down at the door when you're coming towards the door. Ah well. So Joey, yes. you haven't talked very much about the witch of Isolith herself. Yes. Um okay, so uh, I'm getting my my spout law pose. Um, okay. You know, pushing my glasses up my nose and yeah, waggling my finger. It's it's the pose where the guy's like aliens, 
<laughs> uh, so this so is the, the witch, bed of chaos. Yeah, this is the bed of chaos. This is the origin of all demons. Um, it's the witch of Isolith. At the center of it is what is left of the witch of Isolith. And basically what happened... Um, I'm going to tell you the full story of what happened here and why everything is so messed up. Um, basically... Um, you know, the uh, the people that we saw in the opening um, did the thing. They got the they got the Lord Souls from within the flames of the, uh, of the world, and um, you know that that allowed Gwyn to become the sun and you know light up the sun. Well, no, he didn't become the sun. He created the sun, I think. Uh, and Something like that. Yeah, something like that. And, you know, it, it was nice and everything was good. Uh, but the Age of Fire kind of started to dwindle a little bit because, obviously, fire needs fuel and, you know, they're starting to run out of fuel. So, um, the... Everybody sort of had their own... Everybody had their own kind of solutions to this. Um, Cetha Scalus, you know buried himself in research and it didn't go well for him because eventually he realised that this this is this is an inevitability you know the world's going to get fucked up I'm going to live forever that's how I'm going to deal with it um you know Nito just went for a really long nap a really satisfying nap um and Gwyn decided to link the flames and become the avatar of the sun. He became the sun itself. While all this was going on, the Witch of Isolith decided, you know what, I have the closest affinity to fire out of everybody here. I could make a new Lord Soul. Which she tried to do. Her and her daughters genuinely tried to do it. And all they wanted to do was, you know, extend the Age of Fire because the world was pretty good during that time. And through her, their experimentation with fire, they discovered chaos magic. Um, and they decided, okay, we're getting close. Um, and then they experimented a little more. And they experimented a little more. And eventually the chaos magic got so strong that they just couldn't control it anymore. And they created a giant explosion of chaos magic. Um, and the results of which is uh, what you see now. So, I beat the bed of chaos in one try without dying. Excellent. Fuck you, May. I'm the best at this fucking game. 